Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are back with another K-pop reaction for you here today. And it's X Saturday. Whoop, whoop. Well done, everyone. We made it to the weekend. Uh, so let's make sure it's a good one, shall yes, we? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so we have got a fantastic opening act before we get into our XO main event of the day. A La Seraphim. Yep, yep. Now, we are, uh, to some extent, breaking the seal on whether or not girl groups can open for boy groups. Yeah, I think they can. Of course they can. Yeah. Um, I think this is just the first time we've done it. Yeah, is it? I think. We've been doing these now for, I think, eight days. Is that it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. The world comes at us pretty fast at the moment. Um, too fast. Yeah. La Seraphim. So this is uh, this is smart and is a uh, music video that came out in the middle of the week. Uh, so we we've been enjoying La Seraphim. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, they they are. I think exactly what I want from a fourth gen girl group. Yeah. Like they've got, as far as I can tell, everything. Yeah. Like fantastic choreo, fantastic lyrics, fantastic attitude. The rap parts are great. The music super interesting. Um, like they're, they're in a category of ones that I also really like. Yeah. So Nmix is in that category as well. Itzy's in that category as well. Esper. Esper probably aren't. Are they fourth gen? They're early fourth gen if they are. Oh, you're right. They might be third gen. Yeah. I, I well, I I could very easily be convinced they're fourth gen, but it does feel to me like they're like there's a sort of four point five gen thing happening. Four point five? Do you mean three point five? No. I mean, with the with groups like La Seraphim oh, and uh, right. ones like that, where it feels like they're sort of post fourth gen, yeah, 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 but not fifth gen, yeah, uh, where it just feels like the vibes different. Mm, you know what I mean? And I, I would like so, but their style is not brand new, but it just feels like they've all got it in common. Mm. Um, but yeah, love, love, love um, these girls. I don't know their names yet, though. I'm just I'm hesitating to overstate. <laughs> Yeah, why don't we know the names yet? You know, you know what they're gonna say. There is no such thing as guides. There is no such thing as guides. We should really do some guides. We should. Uh, do you know what? I love guides. Yeah. Why don't we? I don't know. Why do we hesitate? Um, I think because they're long. Whereas our videos, of course, are famously. Well, no, that's what I mean. It means we have to put time. Oh, because people, of course, won't watch the videos if they don't get upwards of 10 minutes front and back. Of... Well, no, they will. Maybe. I don't know. So here's the thing. Guides are super informative. They provide breakthroughs for us in terms of concepts for the groups. What and I'm... they are by far our most viewed videos. What I'm saying is we need the time to film it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'll tell you what, leave us a bit of time in the comments. That would really help. Yeah, uh, give us some time in our life. Yeah, so if you click subscribe, so uh, uh, right, here's the thing. If you click subscribe and then like on this video, a new button appears that says gift of time. Yeah. And so if you do that and then um, if if that if the thing doesn't um, pop up, sometimes the fix for that is going over to Patreon or subscribing to our top tier over on Patreon. That works. Should we get into it? We should. I think one of the things that people were most impressed about by me is that... I don't know why I said out. It's like the softest nose bite. Is it because it was a surprise? Yeah. I think... It, I think <clears throat> so I'm going to restate my point. So I think the thing that people are most impressed with about me is that I am a naturally gifted and persuasive salesman. No. I'd never buy anything of you. I can't think of a single example of a time you've bought something of me. No. <laughs> I might be wrong. It's, it's entirely possible that um, the people who love me for my natural and persuasive sales technique have got it wrong. Do people love you for that? She is calling you wrong. Maybe Think they, about that. Maybe they brought it because of me. Think about that. Maybe they brought it because of me. Brought what? Patreon. Whoa, who's talking about Patreon? Oh my god, I hate you so much. <laughs> uh, right, this is La Seraphim <clears throat> with Smart, official music video. And we're on for the run. Let's go! I'm a smarter, baby, smarter. Smarter, baby, smarter. She looks very smart. She does. 
This is a different vibe. Yeah. Um, so we've made a mistake. I thought we were watching a La Seraphim yeah. video, but um, we've got Mini Mama Moo. Mini Mama Moo. But this is like this is. I'm I'm, I'm not wrong. An entirely different yeah. style. Like when I think of La Seraphim, I'm thinking of like Eve Psyche Bluebeard's wife. Yeah. I'm thinking anti fragile. I'm thinking these girls are going to come at us. It's They're going to tell us the truth. It's very soft. Yeah. The thing I love, like one of the things I really love about uh, La Seraphim videos in general, they have this thing they do when they're doing um, full group shots like this, mm. where the shot is like unnecessarily wide. Yeah. And they seem to frame a lot of their um, like full dance lineup shots like this, like they were expecting more people when they set the camera up. Yeah, I know what you mean. But I think it, it's, I think it adds a sense of confidence that they are filling that space. Do you know what I mean? Like it just shows you the big space that they're that they're, they I, they don't need other people. They are there. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. What's the concept here? I don't know. Because I'm picking, like, I'm trying to follow the lyrics now. Like, because I feel like we, I was talking maybe a bit too much about the visuals and not enough yeah. about the... It's got a Shakira vibe. It has. It yeah. has. Like, musically, it's very it's very sort of Latin R&B. Yeah. Isn't it? It's very, like, hips and yeah. summer yeah, as it's, well. Yeah, summer Latin R&B vibes. Yeah, and super colourful. And, the, like, the whispery vocals. Yeah. Again, as well. It's, like, much less aggressive. Yeah, it's very, like, like I said, it's very soft. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wonder I wonder what they're saying. Maybe they want to be a winner. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. Yeah. So it is a very similar concept. It is, yeah. Yeah, Just... and, like... <coughs> Excellent. <clears throat> uh, forgive us, friends. Yeah. Um, it do be like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, like, their, their entire concept, the way that it has landed in me, is um, that they're, they're not afraid of failure because they don't, mm. right? Like, there's a bit about how they rise up from their stumbles, but they, they're, they're not fragile, yeah. They're fearless. And this is also saying that they're learning yeah. as well. That they're like, smart, are they they're gonna come back, they're yeah, better like they're say better they're than mean, you. Yeah. But they're not. Or well, they don't care. Yeah, that's it. That's it. They're winning. Yeah, they just want to be me. Yeah, that's it. They're be, they're being who they are and they're winning and they'll do whatever they want, however they want. Knock them down, they'll get back up, intimidate them, they don't care. Yeah. I love it. It's a bit on the nose, isn't it? The outfit. Yeah. Has all the glasses. Need mine. What? Oh, the glasses are on the nose. What do I don't win 
Nice. Dinner of the winner. That's what I want to get. Is that the Korean equivalent of winner winner chicken dinner? Dinner of the winner, maybe. Yeah. Dinner of the winner is such a more elegant phrase than Absolutely. winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah. I wonder how many of our audience are comfortable with the phrase winner winner chicken dinner. Well, it was a. I feel um, like it's crossed over. Yeah. Yeah. It was a um, PUBG thing. Yeah. 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 I want a blonde one with glasses. I've got dangly things. Who's got dangly things? The blonde one. She's got dangly things on her glasses. Oh, I love it. Pretty cool. Count two blonde ones, but... The one on the right. Yeah, well, she's the only one wearing glasses. The one with glasses that have got dangly bits on them. I'm like, right, okay, so first I'll find the blonde, and then I'll look at the glasses. Because... I took what you said incredibly literally. Well, yeah, she's the only blonde one with glasses on. Yeah, but she wasn't the only blonde one, so I couldn't choose between them because they were both blonde. I was my brain didn't move to the second step because it was unable to complete the third, the first step. You're an idiot. Yep. Yep, my brain is a disappointment. Mhm. Mm well done, everyone. Kick it. Ah, oh, crazy. Oh. The Seraphim. Love it. Mm. Love it, 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 love it. So, what is the world making of the Seraphim? You're, you're a bit more attached to the, the K-pop vibe. Like, the, you, you are across the socials a little bit more than I am. You tend to have a sense of who's hot and who's not. No idea. No idea. Fine. Excellent. Uh, so I'm following more boy groups than girl groups. Yeah, that's fair. That's yeah, I fair. have no idea. I get a, I get a sense just based on the comments mm -hmm. that we get and the views that our La Seraphim videos get relative to others. They might be slightly underrated. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Or nobody watches our videos. Or yeah, the Seraphim fans who are called um, what is it? What is it? What is it? Fear nuts. Fear nuts. Um, that was on the tip of my tongue. Yep. But I was like, no, it's not. I, was like, I know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. Um, yeah. So fear not. Just might not vibe with us. They might not vibe with us. Yeah. I play Mew. I heard you say I play Mew, and I was like, we can talk about Pokemon if you want. <laughs> I'm just so unfamiliar with people blaming me that my brain couldn't pass the sentence. <laughs> nah, nobody can't blame me. Yeah, it's like I don't know. You mean you must. You must mean, hold on, yes, Pokemon. That is the uh, <laughs> Pokemon. that is the only possible interpretation of those words. Um, I think it'd be incredibly possible to underrate this group because I, I think they've got loads of talent. I just want to continue talking about Pokemon for a second. Um, which one's the cute little one? Is that Mew or Mewtwo? Mew. Yeah. I will play Mew. Mewtwo's scary. Yeah. Mewtwo's like a big buff, like, yeah, cat. No, no. I want the little... Cute me. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. But Chespin, the Deno. <sighs> They're my favourites. Yeah. Chespin, not Chestnut, though, because he's... No, Chestnut was fine. What was the one in between? Quilladin. Quilladin? What, what is that? Yeah, just like like horny teenager mode. <laughs> yeah, I remember when we were watching it. Like, and we're like, oh, Chespin's so cute. And then we saw his evolution, we're like... What is that? Yeah. No, Chespin, don't you ever evolve. You yeah. stay as your cute little Chespin. What do you reckon the overlap is between Fear Knots and Pokemon fans? I don't know. I reckon, I reckon it's non-zero. It's got to be non-zero. Who's your favourite Pokemon? Pop in the comments. Let us know. I like you can't choose Pikachu. Pikachu is set like saying Kai is my bias. Yeah. Pikachu is transcendent. Yeah. <laughs> unless, you, unless you specifically don't mean Ash is Pikachu. Yeah, just Pikachu as a whole. Yeah, Pikachu in general is fine. Yeah. Oh, the Denny, Chespin. Um, so what my point was, I think um, I could see how people could underrate the Seraphim because I think mm. they've got a huge talent. Yeah. And so I think their ceiling is incredibly high. And so it wouldn't surprise me if people haven't haven't caught up yeah. yet. I think, I, I think they will. 
but they've got they've had some huge hits they like have huge huge hits so hopefully they're not um they, hopefully it's us flying under the radar and not and not them well done for making it this far if you did welcome to the after party our super special club for people to make it all the way to the end of the video and that includes you fear not if this is you joining us for amongst the first time we've got a lot going on discord and patreon links in the description below discord is full of fun and fantastic people patreon is full of fun and fantastic content you will enjoy both i will leave it to your leisure did you hear decide. that patrons he doesn't think you're he doesn't think you're nice people mako if you're out there where are you reach out <laughs> where are you uh so one of the things we do with our patreon um <laughs> is we give uh we do random draws uh, uh, once a week uh, to give either a, a choice of song or a choice of day uh, on the channel the first winner was announced yesterday mako and um hasn't watched the videos yet <laughs> hasn't watched the videos we've emailed uh, them yeah, and we've we... messaged them on on Discord. patreon yeah we haven't emailed them no yeah we've messaged them on it's not 2007 <laughs> oh what you did you didn't realize that this was a this was a banter zone you tried to banter free zone it yesterday and that's not how we do i don't want your banter well then don't do banter worthy stuff just can I do the rest alone? No. Or can you do them alone then? No. So I just have to put up with you, is that what you're saying? Yes. Ugh. We literally signed a contract to say that we would. When? Our marriage certificate. Oh I don't... <laughs> That that's it, I sn I snuck in at the last minute that you are obliged to do everything I say as long as it's boring and inconsequential i would absolutely not sign that ah uh, you weren't looking <laughs> um scrapey scrapey ribbit ribbit frog gang rise up ribbit i know exactly what i'm doing in the edit now by the way um you you better not edit out my ribbit okay um ribbit we got a lot going on today so ribbit I'm going to do so many, you can't edit them out. I can just mute your channel. Ribbit. Ribbit. Gang rounds up. Rouse. <laughs> do you deserve it? Um, we've got a lot going on today, so stick around. We'll be back very soon with our regularly scheduled EXO Saturday programming. And we'll see you at the next one. The problem with being in a frog gang is that, or my frog gang, is that I can't be bothered. So tempted to stop recording. Love you. Bye. Happy birthday, happy birthday.